Hey everyone, this is Space UG Effects, and this tutorial I'll be showing you how to make uh, this little animation I did here. Just let that play. Okay, so you can do this with um, any objects as long as they're uh, editable. So let's just get started and delete all that. And I'll do it with text again, MoGraph, MoText, and I'll just change it. Actually, I'm not going to change it, I'll just put the depth up a little bit. Um, copy that. You need two objects for this, and one I'm just gonna place sorta back and up. And uh, I'm gonna name this one two, and the other one one. You can name whatever you want. You're gonna select them, and you can make it editable by clicking this button or C. While they're both selected, right click, select children, make editable. And then on uh, this one, you're gonna right click select children, right click, connect and delete, and you're going to do the same thing for the other one, children, connect and delete. So now we have two uh, ob editable objects right here. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to um, go to simulation, thinking particles, particle geometry. And then while this is highlighted, you, again you're going to do simulation, thinking particles, thinking particles, settings, and where it says particle group, you're going to drag in all and now we can just close that and uh, on the particle geometry you're gonna right click cinema 4d tags espresso and um, in the espresso manager thing right here we're gonna right click new node thinking particles tp generator and uh, P pb or whatever that's called and um, here we're gonna select the two objects here click on the p whatever that's called and now we're going to drag it into the objects box here. So now we can just close this. And um, now we're going to go to each of these object settings. And we're going to put the thickness to 4.5 and the count to 1000. And we're going to do the exact same thing for the other one. 4.5 and 1000. So now on the, uh, the top one, we're going to um, go on animation phase and we're going to just going to go ahead and ani animate this because if you play here it doesn't really nothing's happening so let's go to the beginning of the timeline we're going to hold control and then click this button right here go to the end of the timeline and then just put it to 100 and control click it again so now actually one more thing on the your two text objects you're going to make them uh, hidden so you're going to on these little uh, circle things here, you're gonna double click them so they're hidden and just refresh the timeline and um, so now when we press play it does what I showed you in the beginning it's kind of like a I'm not sure what to call it but uh, yeah it looks pretty cool and um, you can do this with uh, any object just make sure you um, make it editable before you drag it into this objects box here and uh, yeah, that's the end of the tutorial. Please uh, like the video if you found this helpful, and uh, yeah, see you next time.